Kapo. Hi, everyone. Well, Kapo, what happened to your face? Face mask. Ha <laughs> What? Face mask? Well, I heard on the radio that people got sick and that we needed a face mask to stay healthy. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. I heard that, too. I think I need to get a face mask. No, no, no. Calm down, Pepe. What can I do to help? I need to wear a face mask now, Mrs. Turtle. A face mask? Oh, feeling sick, Capo Crab? No, Mrs. Turtle, but I heard that we all need to wear a face mask to stay healthy. Capo said he heard it on the radio. I understand, Capo. You just gave us a chance to learn from a professional. My friend, Nurse Laura, can help us understand what to do. Yay! Let's call Nurse Laura. Hi, Miss Turtle. Hello, Nurse Laura. Meet my students, Bobo, Didi, Pepe, and Capo. Hello, Hello Nurse Laura. Laura. We came here to get the right information from you, Nurse Laura. Wonderful. How can I help you? Nurse Laura, do we need to wear a face mask to stay healthy? Great question, Capo. Grown-ups ask me this question all the time. There are different types of masks that do different things. Some masks are just for professionals who are working with sick people. These masks have extra protection to protect them from the germs. However, some homemade masks can help us to protect others from our droplets. So we started encouraging everyone to use masks when they go out in public. Why do we need to protect others, Nurse Laura? Because when we breathe, as well as when we cough and sneeze, little droplets come out of our mouth and nose. These droplets may contain germs. When you wear a homemade mask, it helps to protect your germs from getting on surfaces or infecting other people because the mask to help us capture some of those droplets. Oh, so the mask is like a super shield that will protect us? Mm, not quite, Pepe. The mask is one thing that can help, but it will only work if everyone is wearing them when they go out. But we still need to practice social distancing and washing our hands regularly and properly. We must remember to do all these things to protect us and stay safe from the germs. What is social distancing, Nurse Laura? Social distancing is when we don't leave our home unless it's essential, like going to get groceries. And when we go out in public, we stay at least six feet away from people. That case, even when you do cough and sneeze, your droplets won't get on them. Oh, that makes sense. You all know what to do when you cough and sneeze, right? Yes. Always cover your mouth and nose. Correct, Capo. When you feel a sneeze or a cough coming on, use a tissue and throw it away. But if you don't have a tissue, or you can't get to one in time, then use your elbow. Why do we need to use elbows, Nurse Laura? Well, we all use our hands for different kinds of things, like opening doors, picking up things, and greeting people, like when we shake their hands, so germs can get on our hands. We must make sure we wash our hands often and properly. These germs can get into our bodies through our mouth, our nose, or our ears and make us very, very sick. Nurse Laura, what do you mean by properly? Well, most people don't know how to wash their hands properly, so it kills all the germs, Bobo. And that's because they only wash the palms of their hands. We must also clean the back of our hands, in between our fingers, and under our fingernails. That's why you wash your hands for at least 30 seconds. 30 or seconds? Don't you think 10 or 15 seconds could kill the germs? Some germs work very hard to make us sick. They persist. That's why we wash our hands for at least 30 seconds. So do we count to 30 when we wash our hands? That will do, but maybe you can sing a little song too, Capo. Scrub it, scrub it, watch it really good. Watch it really good. Scrub it, scrub it, watch it really good. Watch it really good. Ready to wash your hands? Okay, let's sing. We put the soap, soap, soap on our hands. We put the soap, soap, soap on our hands. We have the pump. Little pinky finger. Don't forget the thumb scrub it. I won't forget my thumbs and scrubbing. Don't forget your nails scrub them. I won't forget my nails and scrubbing. Ooh, and have the back of our hands. Ooh, between our fingers and wrist and fist and wrist. Wash harder. Wrist and fist and wrist. More water. Scrub it, scrub it, watch it really good. Watch it really good. Scrub it, scrub it, watch it really good. 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 Watch it really good
trap is trap is watch it really good. Watch it really good. Knuckles knuckles watch it where your trouble trouble watch it really good. Watch it really good. Oh. And so clean 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 clean. So pristine teen 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 teen. And so clean 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 clean. So pristine. Woohoo! Fun song. I love it. You can also sing the happy birthday song twice if you like that one better. Singing songs help us to know how long we should wash our hands for. But Nurse Laura, if I have washed my hands, then shake another hand, won't I get germs that way? Yes, Peppy, great point. What we professionals recommend is that you find other ways of greeting people that don't require touching at all, especially when germs, bacteria, and viruses are around. I like waving. Can I wave, please? Yes, I think waving is a really great greeting. Maybe you can make silly faces with your friends too. There are many ways to greet people creatively and safely. So what do we do, children? Wash our hands. For how long? 30 seconds. How often? As much as possible. And don't touch what? Our faces. Do you remember why? Because germs can get into our bodies. That's right. And how do they get in? Germs can enter through our mouths, our noses, our ears. That's right. Wow, I learned a lot today. Thank you, Nurse Laura. Bye, Bye Nurse Laura. Laura. Thank, Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, everyone. OK, friends. It looks like we have some work to do. We need to share what we learned with our families and friends. And we need you to do the same. Because the more we know about how to prevent the spread of germs, the sooner we can get back to doing things together. Thank you for doing your part. See you next time. If you have any concerns or flu-like symptoms, please call the Flu Clinic Hotline at 345-947-3077 or 1-800-534-8600.